Today is the first Sunday of Great Lent. Uh, and on this uh, day, it's a very special day in our Orthodox Church, because on this day in the year 843, the holy icons were returned to the church. You should know, if you don't already, that from the beginning of the 8th century until the middle of the 9th, there were no icons in church. There were no frescoes, no paintings, nothing. The emperors uh, forbade the Christians to have icons in church. Perhaps under the influence of Islam already, and for other reasons, they said that the icon is wrong. You should not have icons. You should not have any paintings at all because God is invisible. God can't be seen. And you shouldn't be painting pictures of human beings and uh, anyone else uh, because God is invisible and the soul is invisible and the spirit is invisible uh, and the whole thing is invisible. There's nothing there to be seen. And so they made a decree, and some of the bishops even uh, cooperated, and they took all the icons out of the church. And that lasted for about a hundred years, more than a hundred years. In fact, in our church history, it's even called uh, the century of blood, because there were many martyrs, many confessors of the faith, uh, many pious people, Almost all of the monks and the nuns defended the holy icons. They said, no, we are Christians, we're not Jews, we're not Muslims, we are Christians. And Christian is a person who believes that the invisible God has become visible in his son, Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ is the Slovo Bozhi, the Obras Borgi, that Jesus is the image of God and he's born as a real human being. He really became a real man. See, over the altar they show the Bogorodica praying and Jesus is inside her. And Jesus comes into the world as God's son to show us God. And it's even written in the Bible, in the New Testament, that no man has seen God, but the only begotten Son, who dwells in the bosom of the Father eternally, he's born on earth, and he has made him visible. And then it's written in St. John's Gospel, we have seen, we have seen with our eyes, the glory of God shining in the face of his Son Jesus, who's a real human being. Now in the uh, Gospel that is read for today, uh, you have Philip running into Jesus, meeting Jesus with Andrew and Peter. They were from the same city, town, Capernaum. And this guy, Philip, he went and called Nathaniel. Then he said, the Christ is here. The Son of God is here. The Lord is here on earth. We have seen him. And he says, come. And Nathaniel says, how can that be? You see, can anything good come from Nazareth? How can this be? And then you have these very, very important words of Philip. He said to Nathaniel, Come and see. Come and see. In old Church Slavonic language, it was Pridi i bisht. Come and see. The Greeks, Ebu keide. Come and see. Because you can see now. There's something to be seen. Because when you see him, you see God. When you touch him, you touch God. When you hear him, you hear God. And it's so interesting that in the same Gospel of St. John, at the end of the Gospel, that same Philip, that same Philip who said to Nathaniel, come and see, this is the Messiah. When they were talking with the apostles at the Last Supper, Jesus was teaching them. He, he gave a very long, if you know Orthodox Church, you come to church on Holy Thursday night before Friday, you hear the 12 Gospels. Well, you know how long that first one is? Well, in that very first one, it's so long.
Philip at one point says to Jesus, okay, we see you. We see the Messiah. We hear what you're telling us about God, about the Holy Spirit, about our salvation. He said, but one thing is still missing. There's one thing still missing. And, and this Philip, that same Philip, he said to Jesus, show us the Father. Show us God and we'll be satisfied. And then Jesus kind of gets angry a little bit. By the way, it's no sin to get angry. It just depends why you get angry and, you know, what you do about it. Well, he got exasperated. He got irritated. And he kind of said to Philip, he said, Philip, have I been with you so long, you still don't understand. And then this is what he said. He said, he who has seen me has seen the Father. He who has seen me has seen the Father. I have come to make the Father visible. And the Holy Fathers of our church say, the invisible God is made visible in the incarnate Son of God, Jesus, because he has become flesh. 